Hey, Nay, uh, the last couple times you was in here, I think you came in after losses. What do you see the difference in the team in the last couple weeks than they are going down direction now? Uh, I think we're playing harder. Uh, you know, coming off of those four losses in a row, uh, we made like a very point of emphasis on playing defense and playing harder and trying to get more stops and not try to focus on beating teams by scoring more. Hey, Q, when you see 21 assists on the stat sheet, um, how proud does that make you, obviously, as the person that controls the tempo of the game for the offense and uh, uh, just the, you know, the total control of the game? Yeah, no, that, that's, that's a great stat. Um, that just goes to show you that guys are playing unselfish, guys are moving the ball, and I think we did a really good job of that today. Naquan, I wanted to ask for you personally, in back. I wanted to ask for you personally, it felt like when you first got here, there were a lot of flashes, you had games where you had some performances where you showed what you could do, but it wasn't maybe as consistent, and lately, feels like it's coming together on a consistent basis. What's been behind that for you? Uh, just getting more comfortable, uh, especially with my teammates, building more chemistry. Um, so hopefully uh, I'll continue to play as well as I did today. After a great win, what's the vibe like off the court for you guys? You could repeat that question. After a great win like this, what's the vibe like for you guys off the court? Um, it's good right now. You know, we, we're trying to figure out where we're about to go watch the Super Bowl together. So um, I would say the vibes are really good right now. Um, you know, it's good to get back on back on a winning streak, and we're just trying to build on, on this performance. Naquan, do you feel more comfortable coming off the bench or starting? Uh, neither really mattered. Uh, as long as I came in, I tried to, you know, help the team win. That's really what I care about. Uh, you know, last year at my old school, we went to the – the NCAA tournament, and that's what I'm trying to do this year. So anything I can do to contribute to winning, that's what I'll do. Jordan, or Javon, what has Jordan Brown done to kind of earn back your guys' trust since he, he came back and just get back into the flow of things where he was able to contribute the minutes that he did? And how much was, you know, kind of a little bit of what he was showing tonight, what you guys had hoped to get out of him throughout? Yeah, JB was great today. Um, you know, he's a great dude. I feel like he stayed very patient through this process, especially of um, while we were struggling. He's been really patient with, with everything since he's been back. So kudos to him. And I feel like today he understood the assignment. They were a little bit small inside, and that's why we decided to feed him the ball late in the second half, get their best player in foul trouble. And, um, you know, he, he did a good job at that, at attacking. Um, their 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 best player, and I think um, he's going to build on build on this performance. I think his confidence is it's helped his confidence. So you know we're looking forward to him continuing continuing his play. Uh, Javon, one of the big differences it seemed like today was you, know, you get the lead, and then like unlike Temple, a couple of these other wins you had in the past, Tulane never really got back into it. You guys, you know, I know the final score was like twelve or thirteen, but you were up by a lot. What? What was different, you think, in the second half in terms of keeping that distance and you know winning one going away? Um, I think we just, for the most part, because I don't think we played a full 40 today. I think we played about, I would say 30, right? You would say about 30. We're we're trying to we're trying to get to a point where we play a full 40, like communicating really well on the defensive end, playing super hard, kind of how the first 10 minutes of the game looked when we went up 25. Um, you know, we're trying to get to that. And I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, not taking our foot completely off the gas. Um, and I was able to kind of control the game late in the game, slow it down a little bit while they were going on their on their run. And I think that, um, you know, that kind of contributed and, and to not losing a big lead. Hey, great win today, guys. Um, I just want to ask about the assist totals and like how much the ball movements improved over the past couple games. Yeah, it's just been a it's been an emphasis. Um, you know, it starts with the PG, so I'm always looking to get guys open shots. I honestly think that's one of my um, the best things that I can do on a basketball floor outside of scoring the ball. Um, you know, Dave Dave played really well, um, getting guys open shots today. He he's starting to understand how much attention he's he's getting from these teams, and um, you know, I was happy to see him. Uh, you know, make some really good passes today. And I think just the overall team was was willing to make the extra pass today. And 
I, I just want that to continue. But it's definitely been an emphasis in practice. For either one or both of you, uh, Petty said that in the back. Uh, Petty said that uh, he had a film session with you guys recently where he showed some good stuff but a lot of bad stuff, and he said that was a humbling experience for a lot of you guys. Can you walk us through what that was like to go through and what that, I guess, has spurred since then? Yeah, that was big. That was big. Um, I was always big on us watching the bad over the good. Um, I mean, we could find the good on social media, um, just scrolling on our on our phones. So I was happy that we were able to watch some of the bad stuff. Um, that's the stuff that – you know, you have to be able to visualize as a team in order to fix those problems. And I think that really benefited us, um, as you can see today. We, um, we still, we still got to be better taking care of the ball, though. Um, that was something that I was emphasizing, myself included. Um, we all just got to be better taking care of the ball. Probably 10 turnovers max a game would be perfect. Well, you know, we had some in the beginning. Back to back, you feel me? Oh, for uh, for either of y'all, uh, obviously last two games looked much less selfish basketball, right? Playing together, 17 assists last time, 21 today. Penny said that was a product of y'all hanging out more, coming together off the court. Uh, what's that process been like of this, you know, brand new team kind of growing closer, growing tighter? Uh, what's that taken? Um, I think just just trying to hang out more and just trying to do things more. Like we go out to eat after practice. Uh, you know, just hang out, talk, uh, and just pretty much, you know, play the game together as well. Just building chemistry. Uh, like, right after this, we're planning on seeing where we're going to go to watch the Super Bowl and, you know, eat and have fun, you know, after a win. So. Um, things got pretty chippy today at times. Now they're on the floor. A few different instances where, you know, double technical fouls and whatnot occurred. Uh, was there any sort of personal animosity with, with Tulane, or was that just – something that happened in the game? I think it was just two teams being competitive. Um, you know, obviously they beat us at the last, um, when we went down there. And, um, you know, if if your team who, any team would have, would have kind of t taken that personally, but at the end of the day, I think it was just two teams being super competitive and they didn't like, um, you know, being down as much as they were. So, you know, I was just trying to keep everybody, um, you know, level-headed because I knew that, you know, when you're down a lot, it's easy to start talking and, and doing all that extra stuff. Um, I was just trying to keep everybody level-headed, smart. Uh, this is for either one of you guys. How How is the team's edge right now? Like, are you guys, you know, on edge at all or are you just sort of focusing on, control? you know, controlling what you can control? sort of thing and whatever happens outside of that is just what it is um or is there some sort of like urgency slash desperation mm. i would say we on edge i mean a lot of there's only a couple guys in here who's played in, in an ncaa tournament game who knows what it feels like and there's a lot of guys who are down to their last year who haven't been able to experience that and with that being said i feel like guys are on edge because with it being your last year, you want to go out, going on a on a on a tournament run. Like that's just that's just um, that's reality. Like anybody would want to go out, you know, going on a crazy run. So I would say, you know, especially the guys who haven't been there are on edge. But you know, some of the guys who have been there who want to get back there, we're also on edge too. So I would say, yeah, the team's definitely you know on edge. Um, seeing the bubble talk. You know, it's, it's got guys motivated. This is kind of picking back off of that. Um, a lot of guys, like you mentioned, final year, final few games that they'll, they'll play here in college. Um, how do you guys kind of just keep everything in front of you knowing that we're this close to March? Um, I think, like he kind of said, really controlling what we can control because we got to take each game one at a time. So if we you know, focus on what we have to do to win those games, then the ultimate goal, which is going to the tournament and making a run, will happen. JQ, you got like a full bag of weapons in, uh, on offense to play with, right? Like you've got, especially in the front court, you've got two bigs, or four bigs really, two bigs that could get in the post and 
make plays in the post, and then you've got Naquan and Jordan out there. What, how has it been like for you to um, have all four of those guys uh, playing with you and you've been able to just kind of mix and match and put them where you want them and just kind of do what you will with the offense? Yeah, it's been, you know, it's actually been a little bit tough because everybody has different skill set. And, um, you know, sometimes, um, you know, it just, it's, it's tough to, to make, make those uh, adjustments on the fly. Um, you know, obviously, like, like Jordan Brown's a, a back to the basket guy um, who, can, who, can score, who can score that thing down there at will um, if you give him the opportunity. Um, who, you know, doesn't really pop much. It's just everybody has different um, different skill sets. So it's just it's just come down to me and Penny, me and Coach watching film together, um, and I'm getting better with it. But you know, being able to put guys in the right spots because sometimes you know I don't. So you know, it's been it's been good though, especially um, you know, Naquan and Nick being able to roll, um, being lob targets. Um, you know, that, that's always fun for a guard because, you know, especially somebody who can get to the paint um, at will because they got to choose, they got to pick their poison at that point. And when, when we're playing like that, it's not many teams I feel like that could play with us. So it's definitely, it's been fun playing with, with all four of those guys. And I'm still learning them to the, like I'm still learning, learning where they want the ball. Um, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a lot because we, we all came together so late, but um, I think I'm getting better. I'm getting better with it. Uh, JQ, it seems like David Jones's willingness to pass the ball and play make has really opened things up for y'all as well. Uh, what's his evolution been like throughout the year in that aspect in particular, like creating for others? Yeah, he's making he's making big strides. I mean, we're watching we're watching film. Coach is watching film with him. Um, I'm just telling him all the time how much attention he's creating, and sometimes the right play is just to to get off the ball when you got two on you. That's that's um that's been a major emphasis with any of our guys who get doubled in the post. Um, once you got two on you, you, you created the advantage already. You just gotta you gotta get it to the the next the next open guy. And um, you know his evolution's been been really well because he he wasn't really looking to 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 pass. And this is no knock on him. He wasn't really looking to pass in the beginning of the year, and he was scoring at will. So there wasn't much that you could say to him. But um, as of lately, these teams are really starting starting to load up against him and things of that nature. And he's, and he's being able to, to take on that challenge and make it um, much easier for his teammates when, when he draws two. And I think that's, um, that's an area that he needed to grow in and he is growing in. And, and I think, you know, at the next level, he's going to have to do that as well. So I'm just happy. I'm happy for him. He knows. He knows. I talk to him all the time about it. And, you know, we just look to see that, see that, see more of that from him.